Hey everybody, my name is Deb Samuel with Medtronic Diabetes in Canada. It's my pleasure to welcome you to a new education support series put together to help you navigate adjusting to living well with diabetes during this time of changes in our healthcare delivery model. Together, the Medtronic family and your healthcare teams are committed to helping you get the most out of your remote appointments. If you haven't had one already, it's more than likely that your next visit with your healthcare team will be on a remote platform. This video will assist you to be well prepared for those visits with your healthcare team so that you can continue to optimize your health, your well being, and your outcomes. A couple of things to note this video was created for educational and informational purposes only. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health professional with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. In this video, I'm going to help you find the CareLink personal resources you might need to get started. I'm going to show you how to sign up for a CareLink personal account, how to sign in to CareLink personal, how to install the CareLink uploader software, and then eventually how to upload your insulin pump. All of these resources can be found on the Medtronic Diabetes Canada webpage at www.medtronicdiabetes.ca. From there, you'll want to click on support, then on product support, on CareLink software, and you'll see the page that is on the screen in front of you. Here you'll find answers to all of the common questions about registering for CareLink personal software, the computer system and software compatibility questions you may have. I've included here the browsers you might use to access the software. There are downloading and installing instructions available in PDF, which I highly recommend you take the time to download now. We'll be referring to these at several points in the video. There's answers about how to upload the pump and also some helpful tips available here. As well, you can access the CareLink personal landing page directly from this support page. By accessing carelink.minimed.eu, you will arrive at the landing page for CareLink personal software. If you are using Chrome as your browser, you may find this pop-up appears first. Simply press continue to proceed. Once on the CareLink personal software page, you want to ensure that your country and language of choice are appropriate. If they're incorrect, simply click on change country or language as outlined here in green and choose your appropriate country and language of choice. After that, you'll want to complete the sign up process if this is your first time using the software. Click on Sign Up Now. This will take you to our enrollment page. Here, you will review and accept or decline several consents with regards to use of CareLink personal software, as well as your privacy and your data. You'll want to complete the enrollment form next and create a username and password. It is highly recommended that you write down your password and your username in case you need them in future. Once completed, click Submit. And this is what your CareLink personal homepage will look like once you use your username and password to sign in. Here you'll see your My Info link, which will have all of the information that you entered on your enrollment page. And you can also change your password here at any point in time. Next, you'll want to click on Preferences in order to customize your CareLink reports. It is important to check the default settings in CareLink personal software and adjust them to your individual situation and goals so that the evaluations are always relevant to you. A good example of when you might want to ensure you do this is if, for example, you're working shift work, where perhaps a night shift means that your overnight period would not be typical. In this case, you'd want to adjust it to your own personalized settings. And one of the things we will all want to ensure is correct is the BG target range. 
ensure that that is set to 3.9 to 10 millimoles per liter in order to properly, and let's face it, fairly assess time and range. Once you've completed this, click on Update to save all your customized settings. Now you're ready to install the uploader. You'll want to click from your homepage on how to install the uploader. Again, these are the two PDFs that I recommended that you download at the beginning of this video. Now might be a good time to do so if you haven't already. Clicking on how to install the uploader will bring you to this screen, which will walk you through the process. This is a one-time process and you'll need to have administrative privileges on your computer in order to proceed. Click on Download CareLink Uploader Installer and run the downloaded program to install the CareLink Uploader. Then try to say that five times fast. You'll be prompted through the process on your screen. But if ever you have any issues or run into any roadblocks with any of this, you can always call Product Support for technical assistance at 1-800-284-4416. Support is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our team is there to help and will walk you through any problems you might encounter. When the program has finished installing the uploader, you are now ready to upload your pump. Here you'll want to click on Upload Device. You're going to need your glucometer that is linked to your pump. If your Contour Next link meter is not connected to your pump, please refer to the system user guide in order to pair the two. You can check if they're connected in your utilities menu. And again, I'll refer you to our upload guide, which I had suggested you download previously. Here you'll see step-by-step -step screenshots of each of the steps that your system will take you through in order to upload your pump. Follow each of the steps on your screen in order to add a new meter or a pump, and then in order to upload that meter or pump. Once you have uploaded all of your data and that is complete, you'll want to go back to your homepage in CareLink and click on the Reports tab. Here you'll be presented with all of the bundles of reports, the single reports, and the daily reports. This can sometimes feel overwhelming your first time in, and this is normal. We always suggest that you start with one or two reports at a time. And here I've outlined the bundle you might want to look at if you have pump data but no continuous glucose monitoring data, and also the bundle you might look at if you are using pump and CGM and potentially auto mode. Under the bundled reports, you'll find the single reports, in case you want to look at a specific report only. One of the reports that we should all be aware of is the device setting snapshot. This is a good report to have on hand and to know where it is in case you ever needed to program all of your settings into a replacement pump, for instance. You'll want to select to look at about two weeks of data at a time and then generate the reports. If by chance you prefer to look at each individual day outlined in a linear fashion, you may want to look at the daily reports. To do this, at the bottom of the single reports, you'll find the addition of the daily reports. There is a button for each day you might want to view. You'll highlight that button by clicking on it and then adding those reports to your list and hitting generate report. These are all of the various reports you might want to look at. In our next two videos, we'll be walking you through each of these reports so that you become familiar with what you are looking at and how to train your eye to see the insights that you're looking for in a relatively quick fashion. All of these reports are outlined differently. Some of us prefer to look at statistical data. Some of us prefer to look at bar charts or graphs. And it's really up to you to understand how you can benefit from these reports the most. 
pick the ones that speak to you at the beginning and then add one as you need to find different bits of information. I'm going to introduce you to the Yes I Can framework, which is a framework that we've put together to help you understand how to look at your data and not be overwhelmed by it. The idea behind this framework is to help you get ready for your appointments, whether remote or in person. The reports provide an at-a-glance view of all the effort that you have been putting into your diabetes care. That's the way I like to look at it. The fundamentals of the framework are to first take a moment to acknowledge and appreciate all of the things that are going well, all of the things that you've been doing right and the effort you've been putting into living well with diabetes. Then we might want to identify any issues or questions or concerns you have had since your last appointment and perhaps hypothesize or jot down ideas for discussion uh, about what might be causing those challenges that you're having so that everything can be put together into an action plan with your health routine. Here's an example of a worksheet or a way you might format your thoughts. Coming to your appointment with the first two segments of the framework written down empowers you to be an active member of the team, bringing your invaluable expertise to the table. And let's face it, nobody knows your body and your diabetes better than you do. You are the expert. We want that to play a big role in your action plan. I encourage you to take a moment to appreciate all the positives you'll see documented right there on paper about everything you've been doing to stay well at this time. Then you may want to highlight patterns or trends you're noticing, issues you may have, concerns you've developed, or questions you might bring to the table at your appointment. If you have insights into the causes, jot those down too. But if you don't, it's okay. This is where your healthcare team can provide some valuable expertise in helping you understand some of the challenges that you're facing. And then together, you can collaborate on your action plan. As I said, in our next two videos, we'll guide you through how to read each report so that it becomes second nature to you and um, a fairly quick process every time you upload. I just wanna say a quick thank you to all of you for joining. I hope you'll join us for the next two videos um, with regards to Carolyn and some of the other support issues we're hoping to provide you with. Again, from our Medtronic family, stay well, stay safe, until next time.